أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سأصرف عن آياتي الذين يتكبرون في الأرض بغير الحق وإن يروا كل آية لا يؤمنوا بها وإن يروا سبيل الرشد لا يتخذوه سبيلا وإن يروا سبيل الغي يتخذوه سبيلا ذلك بأنهم كذبوا بآياتنا وكانوا عنها غافلين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Today we are going to do Ayah of the Day for Juz 9 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-A'raf Ayah 146 that those people who have arrogance in their heart they will be barred, they will be prevented from repentance. يتكبرون. Those who have arrogance in their heart, they will be prevented from repentance and believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want to highlight this point. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the beginning of Surah Al-Araf a story of arrogance, a story of Iblis, that how a person, how an individual who have arrogance can destroy his status by just being arrogant. And now here in the middle of Surah Al-Araf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is actually saying that the biggest punishment which you can have for arrogance is that you will be barred, you will be prevented from repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you always think you are right. So why you need to repent to anyone? That's the mindset. Because this is such an important topic, I want to share one hadith also with you on arrogance. How to identify whether we have arrogance or not. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, What is arrogance? Batar al-haq wa ghamadhan nas. There are two signs of the arrogance. To deny the truth and to, to, deny the truth and to belittle the others. This is from Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So if you think you always have the truth, you are always right in every argument, in every conclusion, in every evidence, you always think that your argument, your conclusion, your understanding is right, then there are chances that you are struggling with arrogance and you will be little others. So it is absolutely important. Do not come under this delusion. Maybe the other person is right. Try to listen to him and then eventually you can reach to a right conclusion. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to clean our heart from this disease, arrogance. Ameen, Ya Rabbi.